Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in of files in C programming. So in today's session, we'll see how to read the input from the keyboard and how to write the same to the file. So here one thing is we are taking the input from the keyboard. Right? From the keyboard. And we are just writing the content into a file. Right? So here we are we are having a lot of input functions which reads the characters from the keyboard. So we can use the uh, input functions. For example, we can go with the get care function, so which will read the data from the keyboard. Right? So we can have a get care function to read the data from the keyboard. So how may uh, I mean uh, up to when we have to read the character? So whenever the user press the control J. So this is nothing but end of file. So you can just type the data from the keyboard and until the user press this control J that is end of file. So every character will be read from the keyboard and parallelly we can write the same content into a file. So let us take some character CH is equal to get cat so it will read the single character to this one and we can check while ch not equal to end of file so here if you are giving the input from the keyboard the end of file will be the control j so this is a control j so unless the user press this control j the same statements will be repeated so what we have to do we have to place the same thing in a file so if you give if you want to write the data into a file we are having a function called f put c so we by using this one we can place the data into this file that means writing the data into this file so it will take two arguments one is a character and another one is a file pointer so let it be the file pointer for this file is fp so we have to write the character and to the file pointer so here you can use the same thing f put c of a character and a file pointer and just repeat the same process that means read the character once again and repeat the same process it will check for the end of file if it is not true it will put the same thing into the file again it will read the one character again it will search for the end of file and this process will be repeated until the pro user press this control j so this is the way we can take the input from the keyboard and writing the same thing into the file so we are writing the data into the file so this file should be opened in a write mode so if there is no file a new file will be created if there is an uh, existing file the automatically the data will be erased and this whatever the data which you are giving from the keyboard that will be placed in the file right so this is how we can write the data read the data from the keyboard and writing the data from to, into the file so and now i will show you the implementation part so let's move on to the compiler. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the theoretical part of how to read from the keyboard and how to write the same content into a file. And now we'll see the implementation. And before going to the implementation, let me inform you about an amazing resource for learning data structures and algorithms and to become a part of a programmer community. And there is a YouTube channel called Code Tribe. So where you can find the best programming educators in the country who have come together to give you all top class learning content around the data structures and algorithms. And on this channel, you can also get a live and interactive classes, a recorded lectures, series and some fun sessions too at a no cost. And definitely uh, they have just created a brand new series of uh, dynamic programming which will help you to get versed with the dynamic programming in just two hours. So why late? So just subscribe to this uh, Code Tribe channel and become a part of revolution to democratize programming education from the ground up. 
so first of all let us open the compiler and see here we are not having any file called output.txt you can see so there is no output.txt this is opt.txt right there is no output.txt so i will create one file with a file name output.txt and i have to write the content into that particular file and that content should be written from the keyboard right so first let us take the header files so include stdio.h which is a standard input and output header file and write down the main function and inside the main function we need to create one file so just give the file pointer one file pointer i'll take the one file pointer and just give the character one character to read the character from the keyboard and to write the character into the file right now let us open the file fp is equal to f open so take the text so i will go with the output.txt which is not available so i'm opening this file in a write mode so that it will be created and then now just uh, read the character from the keyboard we have to read the character from the keyboard and then we have to write the uh, 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 character into the file in order to read the character from the keyboard uh, just use a get care function i will use a get care function ch is equal to get care and i will just re repeat the same thing until the ch not equal to end of file so here the not end of file means until you press a control z so in the files concept if you are writing the data from the keyboard the control z is a end of file so until you press a control z that whatever the uh, content or whatever the data you are giving from the keyboard everything will be stored in the file itself so it will be repeated until you press the control z so just what we have to do i will go with the f put c of ch whatever the character we are reading from the get care function that character into the file pointer and then i will again use a ch is equal to get care in order to read the character from the keyboard and once it was done automatically close the file pointer fp and just close the function right so i will save this one with the file name file input fip.c fip.c so i'll compile this one so there is no errors just run you run the program so here you need to give the text c hello subscribers press enter so automatically again it will ask him from the text for the text so i will write one more line so welcome to files concepts in c programming right again if you press enter again it will prompt for the text so this will repeat until you press a control z now i will press and control z you can see there is a some sort of symbol is appeared and press enter automatically that end ends the writing the file content and now we'll check the file output.txt here you can see so just scroll down for the o and here you can observe output.txt if you click on this one see so whatever the content we are giving at the uh, execution so the same content was returned into this particular file okay so this is how we can read the content from the keyboard and write the content into the file Right. So, hope you understood this one. And if you are really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.